Welcome back. You're tuning into your Feel Good Breakfast Show Express right here on SABC3. It's your Tuesday morning. So good to be hanging out with you. Thank you very much for tuning in. Quickly taking a look at social media. We put up a post. You can see Katlejo is busy there with his phone sharing something. We are talking about sharing your health goals online. And do you feel that by doing so, it'll help you stick to those health goals? Let us know. Hashtag Express Show. We'd love to know your opinion. And on that note, we're talking detox. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I think it does. Sharing, sharing this stuff. Well, I don't know. It puts, puts pressure on you. You know what I mean? When you're sharing like your health tips. Oh, I want to look like this. Well, yeah. And then puts pressure on you. Which can also be a good thing. Absolutely. Now, we've anyway. just wrapped up the festive season and the unhealthy eating habits that come with it. But if you're looking for a crash diet, then we've got bad news for you. There is no such thing, apparently, <laughs> as a detox. Our really? bodies, apparently, they detoxify <laughs> themselves, filtering toxins through the liver. Kidneys and intestines, it's, it's, a, you know, it's just like a whole thing. Yeah, that's how the, the, the whole expulsion happens mm. through your urine, your bowel movements, your breath and your sweat. Yes, even your breath. <laughs> so say no to detox binge. It, it, you can't get a pill or like a snap thing that works like that. You need yeah. to actually work on it. So here to help us unpack what we need to do to make sure that we are getting enough of the right nutrients to function at full capacity, especially at this time of the year, combating bloating, yeah. fatigue, poor memory and a host of other things. Of course, our trusted medical professional back again on the couch for 2019. Dr. Darren Green, ladies and gentlemen, he's here. Look at that jacket. Absolutely oh. stunning, signore. Good morning. Good Dr. Morning, Darren Green, looking like a superstar this morning. Is this your 2019 uh, vibe? Thanks. You've got to try and dress yourself to, to get that energy in the morning at the moment. You know? Yeah, man. You got it that kind of gets you into that. That 2019 glow. It's coming through. It's coming through heavy. Well, listen, you and I were in the makeup room, beauty room together earlier, yes, and you yes, kept yes. saying to me, Tabisa, there is no such thing as a detox. Ah. What exactly do medical professionals mean when you guys say there is no such thing as a detox? Okay, good Have question. Have I been lied to all my life? No, good question. <laughs> so the word detox basically refers to ridding the blood of toxins. Okay. Right. Now, you're, in terms of detox diets and a, a detox comeback uh, and so forth, people misunderstand that undoing a month or three months or three years of bad habits doesn't happen in your nice two-week cleanse. <laughs> and neither does it happen when you drink the two-litre of salt water when you go to the sea over the festive yeah. season. People do that. Have Who you drinks? seen that? People always go home with a two-litre of salt water. To drink. To drink, and then that's they drink it slowly. And then yeah, yeah. It's, it's like it's yeah, but that's ridding your body <laughs> once again of, of, all, of, of all its impurities. <laughs> oh, so people do that. They're taking of. laxatives. Yeah. During this time? Yeah, I used to take laxatives. Yeah, but some I, people Because I was forced. <laughs> it was yeah. castor uli. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so people try all sorts of things to rid themselves of toxins. Yeah. But, you know, you are incredibly, uh, magnificently created to actually rid your body of its own toxins. Mm. Mm. If I tell you that the amount of, of, of water that the kidneys filter a day is like 180 litres, is incredible Absolutely. to get rid of these toxins mm. and secrete them. And that your liver can cope with even the abuse that you give it sometimes. The younger you are, the quicker it actually repairs itself. Yeah, but wow. uh, it can deal with even drinking alcohol one unit an hour without significant damage to the body. Yeah. Do not try this at home. No, so I'm just making people aware of the fact that the problem comes in when you exhaust those compensatory mechanisms, then you start getting dire consequences, obviously, yeah. the different organ systems. But the gut and the GIT, the gastrointestinal tract, the most important thing for absorbing and digesting your food is a very, very complex network of, of multifactorial things that enable a healthy environment to absorb the good stuff and mm. to get rid of the bad stuff. Mm, yeah. So looking after what they call the microbiome is crucial to uh, good health in terms of naturally detoxing your system. Yeah. Mm. You know, you're so brilliant to listen to and to, to feed off of and absorbing information. I literally feel like we need to have an organ appreciation day. Like, mm. if, if, wow. if we, <laughs> we need to find all the significant organs in idea. our body and then one day just like focus on like liver appreciation yeah. day for people to learn what the liver is, what it does for you and how to take care wow, of it so that your body can... You know dedicate I mean? the whole show It's all because of you, Dr. Darren Green. It really, really is. <laughs> the body's um, amazing. Listen, we, we're going to come back uh, in a couple of minutes and we're going to start talking about awesome. healthier alternatives to these detox binges that people are going Fantastic. on and trying to just like juice this and juice that to clean up what mm. they did over December in three days. It doesn't happen. doesn't happen. Sorry. It doesn't happen like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Stop now. We'll be back with Dr. Darren Green shortly. <laughs> 
Okay, we're back again with the good doctor, Dr. Darren Green, back on the couch for the first time in 2019. Mm -hmm. And yeah, addressing a very relevant topic from a medical point of view. Detox, because that's what you want to do. Mm -hmm. You've yeah. been doing the most to your body over the festive season, and now you're trying to get rid of it, trying to start the year fresh, right? Yeah. So we said that detox binges do not work. They don't. They don't. Apparently. Your body is designed to cleanse itself with all the wonderful organs that mm -hmm. are inside. So if you're looking to help Habits. it along, Dr. Darren Green, what are the healthier alternatives to detox binges? Mm. Yeah, so what are the effects? I mean, uh, weight gain is one. People feel swollen, they feel bloated, their digestive system has been treated differently yeah. over this time. You're suddenly consuming foods and drinks that are not your normal run-of-the-mill stuff. Mm. So whereas you normally would have a cup of coffee and some oats in the morning, in the holidays you're having leftover roast turkey, you're having roast potatoes from the previous night, the pizza, whatever was on the brine. And the quantities. <laughs> and the yeah. acidity. So the gut is really, really deconditioned and you need to get it back to the normal routine. So yeah. yeah, sure, going back to healthy eating is not detox as such, it's just going back to a normal good healthy habit yeah. uh, in terms of that. So remember it's not all about weight control and weight management. Yeah. It's about seeing the role of food as fuel to fuel your activity and your mind and your brain mm. and your skills every day in terms of what you need to perform. Whether you're a professional rugby player, yeah. uh, athlete or uh, a presenter, you yeah. need the, the sharpness. So you need brain food, you need yeah. good habits, you need the sleep, you need all that. So the process of detoxing your body uh, naturally mm. actually implies just making good lifestyle decisions and there's some practical tips for that. Mm. And it sounds exactly like that. It sounds like this is a major lifestyle adjustment that you're speaking about. What are the benefits, for example, when it comes to sleep then? How important is sleep in, our, I don't want to say detoxing, but in, yeah. in getting <laughs> our bodies to, to do what they need to do to cleanse? When we hit the end of November, everyone is uh, close to burnout. So they're like people in cages or dogs in cages wanting mm. to be let free. And then they're let free on freedom of time, sleeping late at night, uh, yeah. partying a bit, yeah. socialising, where you've been starved of that social interaction, for example, and then it's pedal to the metal. And that's why, obviously, we then, instead of resting during our rest and vacation period, oh. we try and catch up yeah, on all the things we normally miss in our lives, and that, that's why the mechanisms become... Uh, you're actually exhausted. You need to recover from your holiday. <laughs> and, and that's what happens. Uh, so, you know, just understanding sleep specifically, it helps with focus, yeah. it helps with memory, it helps with attention span, it gives your immune system a chance to rejuvenate, to be ready to fight off, obviously, the onslaught and opportunistic mm. infections, uh, and obviously gives you a general uh, sense of wellness in your body, because sleep is essential for you to actually... Uh, order things in your brain mm. and to prepare for the next day. Yeah. Mm. Let's talk about the other benefits that one can expect from, you know, making these lifestyle adjustments and switching over to healthier choices, mm. whether it be with your activity during the day, not being mm. so sedentary, uh, perhaps quitting smoking, drinking less. We were talking about dry January mm. uh, early on oh, on social so media. Off, things like that. If, if, if you're doing it all right, yes. what benefits and changes can you expect to see in your life? For sure, longevity. In terms of your, your, your ageing profile, you will age quicker if you consume food that causes inflammation and food uh, that builds up toxins in the body. Mm. If you're not, for example, looking after yourself in terms of dehydration, sun exposure, which happens over this festive season, you're going to start looking like a dried-out prune and your skin's going to change. Uh, from the sun exposure, you're going to have premature ageing. Mm. You're going to look older than what you are. I don't know if you've noticed, when people drink a lot of alcohol and they struggle with fluid balance in the body, what happens? They swell quite often in their faces as well. What's uh, commonly known uh, as puza face, right? Yeah, basically. <laughs> and that's I'm not just from lying. That's, just not, that's <laughs> not from just lying on one side of the face for too long a time. <laughs> There's a lot more to it than that. So just understanding that's quite important. And I think, uh, you know, under, understanding water in yeah. terms of, of, of flushing, looking at the colour of your urine, can yeah also help um, and it's then obviously your, about meal, that, hey? your meals your yeah. meals in terms of more vegetables uh, good vegetables that aren't really really high in high gi sugars and and amount of fruit that we consume we think we're doing so we're doing so well by consuming copious amounts of 100 percent fruit juice mm. and then there are 15 teaspoons of sugar in your big glass of fruit juice Ooh, every time you know so people need to be educated but about but we're getting there we're yeah. getting there i'm yeah. trying to be all about the green plates and clear liquids 
Here we go. It's a difficult I mission like to embark on, like but that. it's a possible one. Yeah. Well, listen, okay. Dr. Darren Green is with us this morning talking about that healthy adjustment to our lifestyles as we get into the new year. And after the break, we're going to be talking about getting yourself ready in terms of going back to work and going back to school for your children. So how to manage that lifestyle factor and make sure that they're fresh and, I don't want to say detoxed, but you get my flow <laughs> you after thinking. the break. <laughs> <laughs> it's my feel-good breakfast show. Welcome back at your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's a Tuesday morning, and that means we have the good doctor, Darren Green, in the hot seat to, to chat all things uh, medical, taking care of our bodies, especially this time of the year. We've had a crazy festive season. Perhaps you slept less than you should have. Perhaps you drank more than you should have and <laughs> fed more than you should have. So now you're trying to detox. You're trying to get your body's pH back to the right kind of level so that you can <laughs> yeah. do your best at work, at school, and kill those goals for 2019. How to do it? Well, that's why he's here to help us understand. Mm. So a lot of us are going back to work. A lot of mm. us or some people are going back to school as well. How do you Tomorrow. keep that? Yes. How do you keep that very healthy lifestyle at work and at school? You can't go and bombard your, your five or six year old with, with uh, you know, the same mental intellect that you would educate an adult on. You've got to downplay it into mm. story form, into character form. You've got to make that, those broccoli sprockets, you've got to make them boompies mm. and explain <laughs> life and antioxidant qualities and iron and all mm. that in them. You wow. have to do that with, with children yeah. to have buy-in. Uh, it's, it's like any rewards program on a card when you go, you need to, un people need to really buy into what the reward is and if yeah. they understand the benefits, mm. You need to break it down. Same with adults and, mm. and, and, and patients that smoke, for example. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and if you, if you teach a, a child that what he's putting in, what happens to it once it enters the mouth and where yes. it goes and, and how it gets absorbed and what it's going to help with in terms of the skin, the hair, the nails, uh, all that kind of, and the fibre, even producing poop. Understand, a child must understand that poop needs to come out. Yeah. And having fibre and soluble fibre in a child's diet important. Absolutely. So understanding the difference between high sugar cereals versus yeah. oats in the morning for children. Mm. You can explain that in child's terms. You oh, know? And imagine mm. your child loving and that. And the lunchbox around your children <laughs> and, and, and other parents must buy in too. Tuck yeah. shops at schools are major challenges. Mm. Parents must stand up to the school governing bodies and make really, really bold statements and say, we don't only want a sugar factory at school. Mm. I mean, uh, <laughs> at, at my, my kids' school now, they've actually abolished the tuck shop completely. Wow. And uh, they're people that provide healthy alternatives to the children that can be ordered on the day or the day before. It's oh, as yeah. simple as that. But parents yeah, need to put pressure on the system <clears throat> so that yeah. your child's surrounded by other children whose lunch boxes look similar to that. Yeah, <laughs> and they can do swap outs. So like, I'll have your red tomato <laughs> yes, for mine. Yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we've got a caller on the line right now. Uh, from Durban, good morning. Morning, morning, guys. How are you? Very, very well. Who am I speaking to? You're yeah, speaking to Doctor. Speaking with Doctor from Durban. Oh, this is Doctor from doctor. Durban. All right, talk to us, Doctor. Morning. Mm, morning, uh, Darren. Good morning. Morning. Uh, my question is, I need a, a proper planning of eating simply because we are working uh, 12 hours a day. We are starting as early as six o'clock in the morning. We're finishing late at six o'clock, and still at, at, at home they are waiting for us for for, for his supper. So I need a proper planning. Oh, Thank that's you. Right. Brilliant, brilliant. So he's working a 12-hour shift, 6 to 6. Yep. Proper nice planning mm. in order to take care of the kids' That's nutrition right. and the family's nutrition. Failure to plan is planning to fail yeah. with any decent, uh, you know, or body improvement. So what you need to do is obviously plan your breakfast, plan, for example, a healthy alternative mm -hmm. in the morning, something quick and on the go. If you're used to getting up a half an hour before leaving home to get dressed, showered and leave, it's really, really tough because you need to then imagine you need the dry oats in a container to take with you to work to just throw some boiling water over it and leave it for two minutes before you can actually eat it yeah. with some almond nuts or some, some an apple or whatever. Cinnamon. You can really, really dress it up beautifully. But in terms of, of the planning for work, I mean, I, I used to work 12 to 16 hour shifts as well. I understand your pain. So what I want to say is if you don't make a, an effort to take things with you, you're going to support the local, the local shop at the hospital or community day centre that you're working at. And the alternatives there are not great. You're going to have lots of Simba chips uh, or, you know, lots of crisps. Mm. You're also going to have lots of, uh, you know, carbonated water drink, fizzy drinks, because there aren't low sugar things available. Mm. You can speak to the management of those things if you don't want to take lunch uh, to, of those inst institutions to, to help you better. But generally taking a decent sandwich on rye bread, whole wheat bread, peanut butter, for example. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and perhaps, of, 
Yeah. Maybe maybe on Sundays when you are cooking that big family pot, make it make you know extra, extra size, mm. freeze it so that during the week you know you do have you can lunch and, 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 and dinner taken care of. Yeah. Uh, breakfast, obviously, like you said, alternatives like a, just a normal oats, water, yeah. banana, almond. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a good it. breakfast. The GI the GI but, index, the glycemic hey. index, the sugar content, and how hard how long it keeps your blood yeah. sugar going yeah. uh, at that level, for example, okay. is very important. Whole wheat bread, rye bread, much better than white flour products. We have to let it go yes, now. Yes, we do have to put a pause to it. But you've got part four coming up. Right? We're going to chat to you some more. The news right now with you and. Uh, you're still hanging out with your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso right here on SABC3. Thank you so much for hanging out with us this morning. Dr. Darren Green is with us. We're talking about getting into a healthy lifestyle for the brand new year and how to maintain that going forward. And earlier on, we spoke about, you know, dispelling the myths around uh, detoxing and finding healthy alternatives and healthy ways to do it. And I think right now, let's sort of switch the attention over to families because that ah, becomes very, yes. very important. Practical tips for families to do this together. I think families just after having a holiday together suddenly realize the importance of maintaining the family, looking after your safety and your health. Uh, and to prolong that, you need to look at what you're putting into your body, what fuel you're using. Mm. So I think everyone's mindsets are geared at living longer and enjoying more of these memory-making times that happen over the festive season. So first things are routine, routine, routine. Mm. Every family that's a successful family has routine. Mm. They can't wait for things to happen randomly and by chance. You need to plan your children's mindsets the day before about what's going to happen on the Saturday morning. We're going to do the park run. It's a five-kilometer walk. We're going to go out to a... Uh, an estate or a park in the middle of the city where we live out in, and we're going to actually do a, a walk together as a family, have breakfast together. It's outdoors. It's just getting active. It's not necessarily hitting the gym and running on a treadmill or lifting mm. weights, but it's a start. So don't, don't uh, aim too far. Think of short wins and think of, of a habit forming mm. for yourself and for your, and for your family. Yeah. And uh, you've got to make it, you know, attainable. It can't be a, a dramatic far each far far reaching goal for yeah. yourself as yeah. well don't say you're going to run 10 k's on saturday if you haven't been running for six months yeah you know what i mean you've got you're going to injure yourself you've got to condition yourself slowly so the routine is important i think the discipline regarding planning around meal times eating out less because it's difficult to control what you eat when you eat out sometimes there are limited options at the restaurants you go to Planning to eat at home more is, is great for your budget for the new year in January yeah. and, uh, and for your, your pocket. And then looking at what you put in, uh, whether it's going to actually promote your energy levels and your concentration for longer or not. Yeah. And remember, too, that you know, starting the year is tough. It's really tough to get yeah. back into that routine, and yeah. we need it. We've got a call right now. Denise Excellent. on the line from Cape Town. Good morning, Denise. Good morning, Chet. How are you? <laughs> Very well. All the better for hearing you right now. Chat thanks, to us. Thanks so much. Uh, uh, doctor, I'd like to, I'm a heart patient and I'm on warfarin. And I must stay, uh, uh, can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes perfect. perfect. Okay. Uh, I must stay away from uh, uh, too much leafy greens. Mm, can that's you right. suggest something else for me to eat? 100%. So Thank you, Denise. She speaks okay. about being on warfarin, which is a blood thinner, yes. uh, anticoagulant, yeah. and uh, certain uh -huh. foodstuffs, specifically things like cranberry juice, things like broccoli, actually yep. potentiate um, the yep. effect and walking of, working of warfarin. They make your blood okay. even, even thinner, thinner, which give you the risk of having spontaneous bleeds. So we aim for an INR, which is a, a viscosity or thickness level of, of solubility in the blood between two and three in warfarin patients normally. Okay. Mm. Uh, and those things, those foodstuffs can up it. So you would focus on, on other vegetables, certainly. There are quite a few. Uh, just understand that the medium GI to high GI vegetables are sweet potato, butternut, pumpkin, and those kind of things. The green vegetables are certainly lower in sugar than most of them. That's why they're so healthy. Mm. But in your case, you'd have to look at the balance of not consuming too much or look at more rigorous monitoring of your, your levels. Mm. If you are on that diet, you yeah. might need to check the levels of your, the thinness of the, the blood, blood so to say, yeah, uh, at a more regular interval. Mm. Okay. Thank um, you, Denise. We hope that helps a Great lot. Great question. And uh, Denise, by the way, you know that Dr. Darren Green is on social media mm. at Dr. Darren Green, and I'm sure he'd be willing to engage with you further um, regarding question. your questions. Man, I love talking to you. Medical Tuesdays are amazing. And uh, thank you. Thanks, thanks for coming back in 2019, man. Looking forward to more health chats in the weeks to come. And good luck with that natural detoxification of your body. We need to take on schools. Schools need to ditch the tuck shop idea and we need organ appreciation there, I think. Yes. Yeah?